Hello, I am Kirk Ki Wong. I'm an art professor at Ecker College, and also I'm a practicing artist. I was born in Shanghai, China, and I've been living in Tampa Bay area and New York City for 34 years. Today, I'm introducing the process of my collage paintings that I call the landscape of human skins. In my art practice, contents always overrule the forms and the methods. I choose to use different methods and the media according to the concept of my projects. This human skin project was initiated by the headline news on the refugee crisis a few years ago. I went to the thrift store where many new immigrants frequently shop for their clothes. I'm very fascinated by the clothes they were wearing because those clothes were worn by the wealthy people first and then donate to the stores for the poor. So those clothes had experienced many lives from the upper class to the working class, from the Americans to the immigrants. I consider those clothes as the new human skins, different from our natural skins. They are our social skins, which across races, ethnicities, and social groups. With this concept, I start the project. At that time, I was reading the book, The Uninhabitable Earth. The book claimed that the environmental changes had caused the human sufferings. So I paint the background with the theme of the aftermath of a natural or man-made disaster. I then use a mob to break the images into abstract shapes. For the collage process, I first unstitched the clothes that I collected into pieces. It's very tricky to carve images on a fabric because the material is soft and elastic. To solve the problem, I use the flour paste to harden the fabric. I cook the flour with cold water and gradually heat it up to prevent the clunky lumps. I also add some alum in the paste to prevent the insects to eat them. It's an ancient Chinese method to mount the soap paintings or window screens. I then brush the fabric with the diluted flour paste, making sure it's diluted so it's easy to peel off later. Once the surface was dry, I used an exacto knife to carve the fabric following the drawings that I made with a number two pencil. I have to be very careful for the amount of cutting force to prevent cutting through the canvases. Then I peel off the unwanted part of the fabric by hand to reveal the underlayer paintings. I usually lay several layers on the top of each other according to the composition. I also painted more images on the fabric after carving them. So it's the giving and take, pushing and pull mental process. Well, from surface, there are visual sensations of colors, shapes, and the textures. But what interests me are the stories behind them. Watching a shirt from the debris of the World Trade Center, a shoe in the rubble of a bomb village, and a skirt floating around a sunken refugee ship. Any arguments about the sublime of the abstract art is anemic to me. I call this body of work as the social abstract. It's a poem on the socialist realism that I grew up with when I was a kid in China. It's also my critique 
to the zombie formalism that is popular today. It is my pleasure to share my work with you, and thank you for watching.